everybody, welcome back to the Claremont Classic Garage. We got the old Dodge Caliber in the shop here. It's got a couple of little issues we got to deal with. Issue number one, our left hand low beam headlight has bit the dust. So we're going to pop a new bulb in it. I've got one brand new bulb, uh, lucky for us. Now, it's down in there, and I'm hoping that I can reach that, oh yeah, probably, without um, having to take the whole bloody car apart. Uh, there it is, right down in there. It's that green connector. So, uh, well, <laughs> just because you can see it doesn't mean you can reach it. But we'll do our best. I'll get me old, me old skinny arm down in there and see if I can twist that baby out. And there it is. Now, it doesn't look burned out, and I'm crossing my fingers because Chrysler's of this area do have issues with uh, body modules uh, deciding to not send current to bulbs here and there. Uh, I went through this on my dad's Dakota, and I am a little worried because it, it usually if I've got a headlight or a brake light or something out, it pops up on the dash, hey, you've got a light out, and um, I got no such message. Anyway, um, all we can do is change it and see what happens. One thing I do want to do before I put the other bulb in is check this thing for a ground. Make sure it's getting a ground. And yes, you can see there, our ground is good. So let's grab another bulb and try it. Well, that's good news. Just a burned out bulb. Alrighty. Jolly good. Okay, that's all back together. We could turn our lights off and on to our next problem. Last night I was out um, on the highway with this thing and all of a sudden the ABS light came on. So I'm not too sure what all is going on with that. Um, one thing we can we can hope is that maybe it was sloppy and wintry and icy and miserable out. Uh, we can think that maybe some ice or crap got up in the um, in the sensor and and momentarily interrupted it because see here now we've got it says we've got no codes. So I kind of wonder. Let's check for ABS codes. There we are. Left front wheel speed sensor signal erratic performance. So um, that could mean a lot of things, right? It could mean we've got a sensor going bad or it could mean there's crap in the tone wheel. Which, which happens. We're just going to go ahead, I think, right now and clear it. And take the car for a drive and see if it comes back. Let's see if it goes away. Yep, there, the ABS code is gone. So we're gonna go now and take the car for a spin and see if the code comes back. So I did last night about a 400 kilometer round trip and um, this code only popped up literally when I was at right at the end of it. I was, I had come down the 400, for those of you who are familiar with the Ontario highways, I'd come down the 400 from Moonstone Road and made it all the way uh, just as I was getting ready to come off the highway at, at Highway 9. Ding, the ABS light came on, the cruise control kicked out. So, um, I don't know. Like I said, it was a miserable, miserable night. It could have just been a piece of ice getting up in there or uh, some other piece of junk. It could have been a, a flake of rust right off the tone wheel that got in there. 
Anyway, uh, I got to put the phone down because I'm going on the uh, public thoroughfares. But uh, we'll know in a few minutes if this thing is okay or not. Well, so far, so good. I'm going to see if I can just sit this thing here. No, I can't. Yeah, there we go. So I've, I've had it on the road, and I've done, um, even got it in some ice there. It got the ABS actually working, and, and everything was, everything was fine, so I guess we're okay. Uh, the only, oh, the only thing, of course, I can't do for sure is I cannot get it going, um, at the kind of speed that I had it going last night on the 400 on these roads, but you know, I'm not too worried. I'm pretty sure it was just um, an anomaly. We'll find out once we get home or on the way home. We go down Brock Road from Coppins Corners. see much like that. There we go. So far, no code. I think we're good. I got it going 100 kilometers an hour. Uh, Well, so far, so good. I think we got her licked. I hit on our road coming up. Uh, this road's pretty smooth, but our road's pretty bumpy. So if it was something like that, you know, uh, a, a bumpy kind of bad circuit, um, it, it, it didn't make itself known anyway. Okay, see you back at the ranch. And here we are back at the ranch. Put it in here. It's going back out on uh, on a good trip again tomorrow, so I'll just um, check it over, make sure all the lights work, and maybe kind of give it a bit of a give it a bit of a wash down. This time of year, it's really hard to keep the cars clean, and when we get into a cold snap like we're in now you don't really uh, get the opportunity to wash it even. I just keep the wash bucket in here in the winter time with some decent water in it so you can kind of give her a, at least clean the important stuff, you know. It's terrible. This, we get every now and then, well, every winter we'll get a little spell like this where it just, it's cold, and every day you get like a half an inch of snow and they just lace the roads with salt. And everybody's car looks like this nonstop and there's nothing you can do about it. I, um, well, I was under the hood changing the headlight. I also, you know, checked the oil and just gave everything in there kind of a once over. So it's ready to go tomorrow and topped up the washer fluid. There we go. Now we'll get these side windows. It gets to the point where you, you just, you can't see out of them anymore. And you, you have to, you know, do something like rash like this so you can drive safely. There we go. Now squeegee them off. Look at that. You can at least see where the heck you're going. Mm -hmm. there we go. 
And then I'll grab a wet rag and clean off the mirrors. No, oh, everything on the back works. And all good on this end. I uh, pronounce it fit for duty. Well, that'll do it for that one, I guess. You never know what kind of curveball these old cars will, <laughs> will throw at you. I've got a very interesting job upcoming on this, but um, I've got to get a couple of little pieces of equipment first before we tackle that. Anyway, it should be fun. We're all going to learn something when I do that. Um, as far as the ABS code, um, I know it was from the left front wheel. And if it does happen to come up, then I'll have to say, okay, two times there's something going on there. And we'll take off the wheel and pull off the, the hub and the knuckle and everything and have a look at everything in there. Um, if, it needs, if it needs an ABS sensor, that'll be a fun job because they get fused into the, into the knuckles up here in the, in the salt belt. The only way they come out is with a drill. <laughs> so <laughs> hopefully it doesn't come to that. Anyway, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's a nothing burger. Just something got up in there and, and just for a split second and uh, the sensor lost, lost touch with the tone wheel on the axle and it set the code. Um, it's all good now and I hope it stays good. Anyway, I'm going to wrap this one up now. I want to thank you for tuning in. Hope you'll come and see us again, see what we're up to next time. And until then, this is Kevin checking out from the Claremont Classic Garage. So long for now.